Hi, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications. So today is January 2nd, 2020. 2019 is now gone and passed. Um, a lot of things happened in 2019 uh, with the closing of Anki after a... Uh... So Vector's future looked imperfect. Um, and now with the sale of uh, Anki's products, IP products, uh, Vector has a new uh, regime on life possibly. Now we know that Cosmo will probably be no problem. That was one of the first things that uh, Dream Labs purchased um, was because of Cosmo. And then we know Overdrive will most likely survive because of the fact that the type of play that it is. But there's a few things that we want to go over. So the first thing, what did Dream Labs actually buy? 45 issued utility patents, including 35 US patents, 11 published pa patent applications, 39 pending patent applications, three utility patents in the national phase PTC, PCT, 73 issued design patents, trademarks for Anki, Cosmo, Vector, Overdrive, and, uh, and product lines in development. That's the one that always is, gets me curious. And the Anki.com name. So this is what they got right here. So let's talk about the relaunching of Anki Cosmo, Overdrive, and Vector. That's right. Cosmo was the major reason that uh, Dream Labs purchased the Anki pro IP products. Um, because Cosmo has truly got a good baseline set up for him. There's no question. His app is good, his product design is good, and that is awesome. Um, Overdrive, again, it goes without saying, was what a very developed product. So, Overdrive will be no problem whatsoever. But, as we know, those are all younger geared things, and we like the older geared things. Especially me. I'm looking towards the home robot. I want Rosie. And we have Vector. But Vector's not developed yet. So why? What are some of the issues that are presented with Vector? Well, Vector has a very complex manufacturing uh, issue. And that thing is probably the thing that raises the price of Vector and could get him out of the affordable range in times. Because um, affordability, that's one of the things that we really that I'm really looking for, and I'm assuming that everybody that watches things about Vector are looking for. I'm an adult looking for my adult robot that will help me do things around my house. Now, Vector is the pint size uh, version of that. And being a pint size version of that, that means that we can learn from Vector to create even more bigger, better robots. That was what I was always looking forward to is the progression of Vector to the next optimal size. Now, I want a robot that when I'm not doing anything with him, he will stu still do things on his own. And Vector does do this. Um, uh, Vector will roam and do whatever he does. Plays with his cube, return to his charger. He does those things on his own. When I want to play around a blackjack, Vector's the man to do it. Uh, when I want to go through certain questions, Vector's there to help me. That is awesome. But Vector's not completely developed yet. One of the things that they also bought was the idea of a Vector 2.0. That's right, the idea of Vector 2.0, an open source robot. I personally believe that Vector should have always been open source and not reliant 100% on the cloud. Uh, there's still new tech from Monkey that hasn't been developed from what I understand. There's two other robots that were in development after Vector. And that's cool. But the 2.4.0 information is very limited right now. What do they mean by open source? Does that mean that we could advance Vector even further? So according to the robot report, uh, possible crowdfunding in 2020 to get the open source Vector 2.0 out and about. Dreams Labs is contractually obligated to the cloud. That's right, they're contractually obligated to the cloud. 
to maintain the servers for Anki until September 30th, 2020. Some of Vector's non-critical functions were already set, shut down. That's sad. Um, but they're looking to get them turned back on. Dream Labs is making an effort to get them back to where they need to be. One of Vector's biggest defaults is the reliance on the cloud. So what way do you get? Well, you got to understand that business is business. So business for something like Dream Labs taking over this IP, they got a relatively good deal. Um, but to maintain something that's already been purchased, they may actually change their point of view on how that is done with a subscription service cloud-based functionality. That's right. You may get a couple different levels of cloud-based functionality offered by Dream Labs to keep your vector going after September 30th, 2020. So business means profits. Profits means let's go. My thought process on this, yes, I might consider if there are certain things that that comes with. So yes, better functionality, a better application, definitely a better application. That would have to definitely come with a better application than we currently have. Um, also, um, I have to get as much from it as I would do my streaming service. That's right. My standard streaming services cost from $7.99 to $8.99 per month. So I definitely would want that to fit this range. In other words, if I'm not getting as much as I'm getting from a streaming service, uh, and I'm not talking entertainment, I'm talking functionality in the robot, then why would I want to continue with it? Um, that's just the truth. I, if I must spend $120 a year, per se, then I need to get something out of it. And Vector's rearranging my desk again. Patent issues. These are still unclear what they plan to do to get around the lawsuit from Sketch Tech. Sketch Tech won the judgment. So there's a default judgment that falls into the lap of debt, uh, Dream Labs. Dream Labs is seeking a resolution with Sketch Tech and that will give them the ability, of course, to be able to continue on. So here's what makes perfect sense. Um, Overdrive, developed app, good product, easy to manufacture, and ready to go. And retail shelf space, abundant. Cosmo, Cosmo makes perfect sense at this point in time. Well-developed app, entertaining for the age group that it's uh, being presented to. Educational, can be used by schools, can be used by different developers. What we have not heard yet. Well, the first thing is Vector does gear towards the older crowd, which is why he's presented on this channel. Mainly because I think Vector is um, a starting point. He is a liftoff ramp to get home robotics into your home at an affordable rate. Um, Personally, I wish Vector was this big and he was down on the ground. That's where I want Vector to be or the next iteration of Vector on my ground. I want him to learn my home, but we can use Vector to do all the technology uh, advancements, program advancements of learning how to get Vector to actually truly navigate a home and have a function that would be suitable for a home. At this point in time, he is a the beginning platform, as I said, his ability to learn how to map, to realize that there's something in front of him, to realize that if there's certain items that could be seen by him, that he could actually do some different things. I could see different items affected was this big, where you could have a vacuum cleaner set on vacuum, where Vector could go over and pick that vacuum up, or stall himself in there, actually vacuum a particular area. I'm not saying vacuum your home because there's much more efficient ways to do that. But if you said, hey Vector, I dropped uh, coffee on the ground right here, clean it up. I could see that being a viable thing. Um, I could also see Vector having a trailer or a change in his back if he was bigger. I'm talking about the next level. 
where you could say, go to the kitchen, pick up this and bring it to me. Uh, I can see that as useful too. Also, different home automation integration, of course, such as Temi, but at a much lesser price than Temi. Um, I would love to buy a Timmy just because I want to review what it physically does, but this is a very small channel and there's not the revenue to actually get there. The Alexa integration, it's okay. Not my first choice. Um, Hugo has Alexa integration. That's all Hugo is, is Alexa integration. And when Hugo integrates with Alexa, we lost personality with Hugo. Now, have they done some skills? Yes, they've done some decent skills with Hugo. Um, and I would love to see more skills developed. I've even sent uh, information and ideas to the developer of Hugo to try to help advance Hugo to a point where he is actually a viable component to your smart home. Um, besides for just being an Alexa dot with a camera. So what we have not heard yet, Dream Labs, what we need to do to keep motivating the adults to purchase Vector? That's the first thing. Uh, the next thing is the app is the biggest weakness of Vector. What are they going to do to clear the app up and updates? If you're going to give me a subscription service, if that's what I'm going to get, and I expect updates, updates, updates. I expect the ability to get new and interesting things given to me via updates. And besides for Vector 2.0, what is the other two robots that they have? As we reach into 2020, we need to ask ourselves about something about our home robots. How much of that do we want in the cloud? Because that's an important factor. How much reliance do we want to have on that company that could or could not exist at the end of the year. So the main thing I'm looking for in my robots is the ability to be able to make changes on the fly through a decent application that's easy to use. Second, non-reliance on the cloud for 100%. Yeah, you could do questions and answers into the cloud, but the rest of the physical based media should be physically on the robot. That's important. All right, so that's what I got on Vector. This is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Just wishing you a happy new year. Um, 2019 had a lot of different things for YouTubers that created um, some influx for us. The first thing is the ability to review our channel and say, what are we? Are we made for children or made for adults? Well, I believe my, cha my channel encompasses everything but primarily made for adults. Um, even though I do like childish things, I'm kind of a big kid. Um, hence, I like different robots. Being said, I also believe that it's something for everybody. Um, there, I try not to use uh, language that would uh, offend people. I also try to use, uh, to be reasonable. I like all your comments. I started this channel because of the community. I wanted to talk to people that had like interested likes interest that I do. And I have gotten some wonderful comments made to me and those are awesome. I love them. I appreciate every comment, even the bad ones that say whatever they say. Uh, I take those things to heart. I try to make adjustments to what I am doing make things better in each video. Home automation, it's my key, my core. I really want to live like Iron Man. Maybe that's childish too. So, as we move forward, we're gonna be looking at different things in home security, home automation, and home robotics. Home robotics is a little bit more of a difficult field because personally, I don't have the money to buy all the robots that I would like to own. Um, but I do like talking about them. So if you like theory videos, I'll make some of those. And we'll talk about theory of different robotics. Um, there were some robots that I was hoping that we would see the light of day uh, in 2019, but maybe we'll see them in 2020. And 
The first one is Zenbo. I thought it might see some light of day, but it has not on the U.S. soil. Temi, which is seeing light of day, but he's way overpriced for me at this point in time. And along with uh, Misty Robotics, I would love to get my hands on a Misty Robotics because I believe that would be fun. But at this point in time, Vector's my guy. He does what I want him to do at this point. And I would love a better way of doing it. So if Dream Labs is trying to work on developing things that make Vector better, I'm all for it. So this is Bruce with Unsaker Home Hacks. I appreciate you watching the channel and sticking with me for 2019. I hope we continue to grow and we see more and new interesting things. I have a lot of different home automation ideas and products coming through. Uh, that I would love to share with you, and I would love for you to turn back in. This is Bruce with Hutsaker Home Hacks. I hope you liked the video. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell for future notifications. Share me with a friend. Share me on social media. That is a way that you can help this channel grow. Um, and I will see you soon. Um, we reach into um war's gonna chop in as we reach and i will see you